Hey, what's up? I'm Katie. And I'm Major. Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our channel. channel. If you're new here, please make sure to like and subscribe. And if you're not, thank you for being part of our family. We hope you enjoy your stay. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about one of our dogs. <laughs> Yay! So, this video is going to be all about Dash, one of my favorite dogs in the whole entire world, and one of Major Sleeve's favorite dogs in the whole entire world. And when we fostered him, we did a foster for Katie's Canines, which is my dog training business, and I was obsessed with him. He had three legs, and there was a person in front of me looking at him at the pound and was like, who would want an ugly dog with three legs? And I looked at that girl and I said, I did. So then I got him, all my clients wanted him, and we decided to keep him because he was such a great dog. He had no prey drive. He fit in perfectly with all of our animals, with all the other dogs. And then we said, let's get his DNA done so we can just see what breeds make this perfection. He was a little skittish though. Skittish, but so good. I personally thought he was a cattle dog mix of some sort. Is there anything you thought he was? Um, I thought he had a little bit of Australian Shepherd in him, but okay. it was just basically his coloring. Yeah. But he de definitely looks like a pit to me. Yeah, the interesting thing I will say is when we got him, he had a lot slimmer of a face. He was about 28 pounds. He was 28 pounds, now he's like 56. Yeah. So he's almost doubled in size, and his face is like a thick face. He has a pretty face. And right now he's very uncomfortable because he does not like being close to nature. We don't force this on him a lot, we only force it on him for DNA test videos. So, the big reveal. Dash is a year and six months old. They said he was a capital dog mix with a pound. And how old he was? I thought he was like older. Three, right? Yeah. So I thought he was going to be a small dog, and that's why I was like, okay, this will be super easy to find him at home. And then he just kept growing. So he was about eight or nine months when we got him. Yeah. And now he's a year and a half. So for Dash's breed, he's mostly in the guard group, but he has 27% in the Asian group. So, he is 44% American Staffie, 23% American Pit Bull Terrier, 2% Bulldog, 2% American Bulldog, 2% Boxer, and 27% Akita. Definitely uh, a lot of the breeds that we wouldn't have chosen ourselves. I mean, we're not That's saying nuts. like anybody else can get those breeds, but for our pack, they wouldn't have rolled with our pack. So, it's just funny that he's all of the ones that we wouldn't have chosen necessarily. And then, if you go to relatives, and I'll put this up there, but his close family is Petunia, and she is a purebred Corgi, or purebred, <laughs> no, she's not a purebred, I'm sorry. That's where it zooms in onto my face. She's a purebred Akita. It's or crazy Bulldog. because he doesn't act like an Akita, but it might be because he has three legs and think that he's right. not necessarily as a, as aggressive or Aggressive, intense, possessive. Yeah, because he has three legs. Like, if he had four legs, I think he would have definitely tested a couple of the dogs. But, and it could be the whole situation of how he was taken in or whatever. And that kind of keeps him skittish and whatnot. Right. And we definitely think like he has had some trauma in the past. I hate when people rescue dogs and are like, oh, this dog was 100% abused. He seems like he was abused. We don't know if it was actually him being abused or his genetics, but based on his breeds, you wouldn't expect him to be as skittish as he is. Because he's, what is that? How much percent guard dog is he? I don't know, but I just know he acts like I beat him every day. He is 73% guard dog. And he is the biggest baby and skittish boy and sweetest boy I've ever met. Yeah, he's not really guarding anything, but he might try to get a little vocal here and there in the backyard. He's feeling tough because he has a gate in between. But out the gate, yeah. I don't see him really doing much. But it's just so funny because he has all the guarding breeds and he's just not that way. He's not protected. I will say, like, when I'm walking him, sometimes he'll, like, look back and be like, yeah, I do have two Dobermans with me and six other pretty tough dogs. And I'm like, buddy, what are you doing? But he's not re really reactive on walks. So he'll just sometimes feel good because we did rescue him in January and it's now July. We're finding out different characteristics and personality traits he has as he's decompressing completely and coming out of his shell. But I honestly think he's one of the best dogs I've ever met. I love him. I cannot wait for him to get to the point with you where he's just like, who's your dad? And he does a little two paw thing on you. Who's like, who's your mom? But he's just overall an amazing dog. He's so freaking sweet. He like gives the best kisses ever. Not like I mean, a- He's chill here and there. It's kind of like, 
my other dog one more. So like, he's chill sometimes, but then it'll be random times where he's just afraid, and I'm just like, what's going on, dude? Like, I like, literally was chilling yesterday, and all of a sudden you're brand new, you know? Yeah. I think one thing Major doesn't understand is trauma with dogs and rescuing dogs. He hasn't had a lot of experience rescuing dogs. So if you guys could all comment down below some words of advice for Mr. Major and words of encouragement, because at the end of the day, it can get discouraging, and he doesn't understand. Like one day, Dash is on his lap, he's wagging his tail, he's kissing him, and he like will do a perfect heel on the walk, and the next day he's like under the table, growling and barking at him, and paying himself to make him to go retreat because he's so scared. So I think it's just frustrating because you don't understand it, and it's like one step forward, one step back. I agree, I don't understand. Uh, it's just, it gets a little frustrating sometimes. Like, we literally have a good time the day before, and then I walk into the house after work, chilling, and he's just like barking up a storm. And it's okay, like, I understand dogs barking, so, but he looks at me like, I don't mess with him. Yeah, like, you're not his dog. But then, two seconds, then obviously he's scared. So, two seconds later, he's like, I'm gonna run away. Yeah, so, so one thing I think would be cool is if in the comment section down below we can have words of encouragement and we could talk about your personal experiences with dogs being scared of you and how long it took them to come out of their shell and some tricks that you have for getting them to come out of their shell because every dog's a little bit different and I'm sure we can have a great conversation down in the comments below. I agree. So uh, make sure you subscribe, like, comment down below and we'll get back to you guys ASAP. Yeah, and also... Let's definitely talk in the comments down below about what type of dog you thought he was. And I'm really quick going to pop a picture up of the first couple days when we brought him home because he looks very different now. Okay, well, thank you.